Hi, we're starting a new series all about babies. Hi, I'm Michelle Manriquez from Drop That Brush, and I want to help people who are non artist become artists. Like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Let's talk about landscapes and portraits. When you learn to do a landscape, you learn that there's many different kinds of skies. There's sky, cloudy skies, there's sunny skies, sun rays, sunsets. I mean, there's everything. All right, there's many kinds of trees. There is, and you practice each one. A lot of people will practice little pieces. They'll practice the palm tree, and they'll practice a, a deciduous tree or a fir tree. But when people do faces, they assume they can do the whole thing by yourself. Boop, you're out of there. I think it's hard to do portraits without having some kind of basic understanding. You know, there is side nose, a three quarter view, straight on view. There's light coming this way, light coming that way, all kinds of stuff that you gotta learn. And if you take it in smaller pieces and chunks, it's not so hard. I have actually done a series on young adults and I would suggest you check that out where I have basically discussed each of the um, different pieces of the eyes, the nose, the ear. I don't think I did ears. What I want you to do is we're going to do this, but it's the difference between a adult face versus a baby. Now the baby period starts from about one month, about two years of age. Most babies will have a, a reasonably short turned up noses. That's kind of the thing that you need to know differently than an adult. And how I handle it is actually quite different. When I handle adults, I put lots of color and I do lots of fun things. I'm a little, for babies in particular, I'm extremely ginger about my values, really careful about my shapes, trying to, the less brush strokes as I can. So let's talk about it a little bit. We're going to break it down. We're going to do ears and, and noses. It's a baby picture. I just took a baby picture and I cut and cropped the ear and the nose. Don't forget, in the description below, there will be a baby nose, baby ears picture, and a, a drawing, a value sketch. So please paint along with me. I'm not going to show you the whole picture right away. It's kind of going to be fun. So you'll be able to put it together at the end. Each week I'm going to work on a part of the baby's face and then we'll paint the baby together. And I think you'll find that doing it this way, you're much more likely to exceed and you'll have got ideas about where you did wrong, didn't work. It really helps you to actually practice before you actually do the full face. At least that's my take on it. If you don't agree, <laughs> give me a comment below. Ears. Now, here's a few basic things about noses. They're red right here. <laughs> Use red. Honest, honest red. It doesn't have to be, it can be pretty bright red too. It's okay. I would use like organic vermilion cad red, but definitely red right here. Okay. And ears are always red right here. So, that I know for sure. This is a Caucasian baby. And so we're working on, and I like to use a very gentle, warm, of uh, a kind of a rosy glow. You know, everybody likes kind of their mix, but I want you to know, I have a video on skin tones right here. And so please watch that. I talked about Caucasian, I talked about, uh, medium skin people and dark skin people. So if you have a child or somebody you're gonna do, that will help you with that so you get the right mixture. 
The other thing is when I do Caucasian babies, I like uh, golden ochre. I like French ochre for my yellow. I love the pinky and I go until I get to it. Pinky, I don't want orange. I hate, I don't like orange. I always keep going until I can get to a pinky toned. And then just a tad of blue, just a tad. Um, you can use cerulean blue is really good. So is um, cobalt blue. And I'm, I'm talking a little, it's a little. I mean, and it's gently with lots and lots and lots of water. Okay. <laughs> like when I say tea strength, we're taking tea strength with a lot more water tea strength. I mean, it is really soft. I just quickly want to talk about darks. Now, when I do adults, I do darks. I use, I'll actually get a really dark around the eyes and stuff. But again, we're thinking, okay, be gentle. So I will probably use burnt sienna or red oxide. And I may add a little purple. Now, why purple? Why not blue? Because I am using a little blue to get the, the original mix. <sighs> what I've discovered for me, you know, some people like it. I just didn't like it. Um, I think they should not live a grayed town color. And when you take any kind of a warm orange and blue, you get this grayed color. It, it, it's just a personality thing. I don't like it. So I found that if I use purple with dark, warm brown, which for children will give us a, a more softer look. It's the technique that you use with the baby will make the difference between looking older or looking like a baby. So first wash, put water, then take the first wash and it goes right on through, then you blow dry. Second wash, get water, then you go this area is darker, so I'm going to make that area. And I'm going to control it, but, but I'm going to continue using a tea strength wash throughout of it until the absolute end. And then there'll just be a little bit of maybe a milk. This will make a baby look like a baby. If you have hard lines, if you have, where you haven't been really soft and gentle, or if you've scrubbed a lot, it just doesn't look like a baby. Those are my steps. You can do this. Now, what I would suggest you do is a couple things. Is go to magazines, in either children's magazines, or even adults, doesn't matter. It's a nose is a nose. And copy and try to do just a nose. And see what kind of differences. You have nose that stick up. You've got nose that stick down. You, you know, there's all kinds of things. You know, just play. Take a little piece of paper. This is probably a piece of paper about that big that I'm playing with. It's a little piece of paper. It's not big. But we're going to really look at the values, how much changes of the values. Is it very little in this in babies? Typically, they're really little in values. So we have to be really gentle, very soft. So when I'm looking at that nose, I'm actually looking at mainly white with a two on one side and the crease is maybe a three, maybe, not even, just barely. You need to be aware that we're gonna stay in these very, very light tones. When I look at Notarizer, in that picture, it shows that there's four values, light, medium, medium, dark. But, and it will show the dark is like black. But in reality, it's only like a number three. I just don't want you to get confused. I'm going to talk about that, the demo. So this is going to be fun. I am excited. I don't know if you're, are you excited? I'm excited. Anyway, I, you know, babies are cute. It's fun. Let's paint a baby nose and ears. This I wanted to discuss how notarizer works because it will give you grief if you don't understand how it works. I put this in four levels notarizer. 
So first one is the white. That's like a, uh, a medium. This is like a five and this is dark. But when I look at the picture, we have white, we have white, <laughs> basically more white. Um, the, the, the darkest dark is right here, pretty much. And that made it to May, ooh, about a three. And the darkest dark is the, um, at the nose and that's no, no, I would say it's a five. This shows where my darks darks and my lights are light, but what it doesn't do is tell you how dark it is. So you have to look at the actual picture. So I'm looking at this. If I know this doesn't get darker than a three, except for the nostrils this I want you to see how I draw it out so as I'm thinking about this see the shape it's that shape that I'm looking at right there you see it okay and then there's a little shape here and then the right here there's a little dark okay I I don't know if you guys do this but I consistently um I draw my shapes out and I will draw on the piece of paper. Now I can see it's, I mean, really subtle, but there is a shape where there is a uh, light. And of course this is a little darker. This is a little darker, but that's the lightest light. And then there's this little area that's just a little darker, but it's like, if this is, if white, is white this is 0.5 white i mean it's so little bitty difference now we don't even see really what happens with the nose but we know that it's going to be like that and like that when you look at the picture you really don't see it and this is a shadow and the only other thing I can really see is I'm paying attention is this has a lighter and darker. It looks like right in this area is a little darker right there. So here there's nothing. This is so little. It's almost nothing. The reason why babies are so difficult is because you can't play. Get in get out. I would make a little dark here just so I know where it's at and I will make a little dark here just so I can see that edge. This side will pretty much go into the cheek. All right. I, so I wanted to understand when I say, when they say black, it does not mean black. It means less than three is the darkest color in this particular shape. I don't want to get you messed up with that. I actually draw on this and I look at it so I can kind of pay attention between the two. And I look at both. And see, there's a little dark right here. All right. So I'm just looking at the shapes, seeing, okay, this is lighter. This is darker. This is lighter. But this is a little bit bit, 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 bit darker, even though it doesn't even show it. So it requires both of these to do this baby. So, okay. Are you ready? If you have questions, contact me and I will help you. When I have older people, <laughs> I kind of do what I want to do and just have fun. But babies are so soft and so gentle. I am going to use my lightest lights and I'm going to keep it really, really mellow. So I'm going to do my yellow. Yeah, I think it's French ochre. It does not get much darker than that. It's, and then I'm going to add a little red. See, that looks really kind of orange to me. So I'm going to keep going until I get it to, uh, and then I'm going to thin it again. <laughs> More thin. And I'm going to look at it. And it's probably too vibrant. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the littlest, okay, guys, really little, uh, of cobalt blue. And you can see all I did is I just touched it and I'm looking. I'm going to do it again. 
just a little bit. Okay, that looks pretty good. I like Baby's Rosy. And I'm just going to put everything that color. Okay. Do, 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 do. This doesn't take very long. We're not going to play. Less playing. And I'm going to blow dry. In fact, you know what? I decided that's too dark. I'm going to add water. What I should have done, I got excited. Forgive me. So put water first. And I'll make sure I do it from now on. I'm just being weird. And I'm going to pull out that one little white area. There. Okay. And I'm going to blow dry it. Okay. Let's look at the value that I'm at. Right now, that didn't even make a two. I am literally at still a one, even though I put a little color on it. Your nose is typically kind of red anyway. I'm using the same color. I know that right here, I'm going to try to leave that little spot light. So I'm going to get it wet again. All the way up. I'm not going to scrub it. I'm just going to quickly, gently wet it. Try not to muck with what I've got underneath. Now I'm going to get another layer. Very, very thin. Just, and I'm going to see, does it move? Yeah, it kind of moves too much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze here. And I'm going to kind of look to see what it does, okay? You know, sometimes we just need to look to see what's going on. Well, we know that this is darker than that. We know that there's a little area there. Now it's all wet, so it should blend in nicely. I'm going to blow dry it. Let's look at the values. And I'm doing this because it's really easy for me to over, over, did I make it? No, I didn't even get a three. Mm, I think I'm in a two already there. I'm only can go to a three. So I'm close to where I need to not get two. And I think it's a little too vibrant, maybe. I'm going to, I'm going to do the, the, the bottom of the nose and decide if it needs to be darker. This is the darkest dark in this area. I'm actually going to use a little bit of um, red with a little bit of pink. This is um, Jan Violet Rose or something. And it's a nice color. And it doesn't get really dark, which is really important for me. This time what I'm going to do is I'm going to put water here. Not all of it. I'm going to put water right there. And I'm going to put a darker color here. I'm going to add a little water. I'm just softening. So you can now see there's definitely a difference between the one side to the other. Okay. Looking at my values, checking to see if my values are where I should be. Okay, I didn't hit the three, so I'm doing good. I'm still sitting in the two. And that's a very clear two. Okay, I'm liking that. I'm doing good. I'm going to use this violet rose. I really like this color. This time, I've not wetted it. And now I'm going to have to do some softening. So I'm going to soften. And I'm just kind of touching it there just to put a little color here. And I can see that there is a little violet there. Okay. And I'm just going to soften it. Now, did I get that too dark? I may have. You know, like I said, I am not great at... I'm going to soften this a little bit more. I'm going to use a little... I'm going to come over here and get a little... So keep thinking. Gentle, soft... Do not do a lot. Don't get in trouble. I'm going to use brown. I am not going to use black. I'm going to use the same color. I'm just going to kind of darken it with a pinky tone. And I'm going to go, well, it's still wet. Now, I did notice that I didn't get this, which is 
there's a um, an area right here and I'm gonna actually get the corners now the corners I'm gonna use the reason I'm wanting to use using this is I don't want to get too uh, vibrant so there's the corner and I'm going in and out and I'm gonna soften on both sides I think I'll take a little red you're gonna go oh my god red but it really looks right because it is a nose and noses are kind of red I'm gonna add a little bit of to make it too hard I think that's got too, too much. You know, I may play a little bit. I can see that this looks like a more, more color here and more here. And then there's that dark area, which I kind of ignored, which I should have added in. I'm gonna put that there. Let's blow dry. Let's see how we're doing. And look, you've got a brand new baby nose i know you could do this and the less you do the better it will look i promise i really like the color i'm not sure i hit the colors right properly but i'm okay with it it doesn't have to be perfect when you look at the entire face you won't even notice well here we go we're gonna work on the ear all right what is the value of this year that could be a, a, as dark as a five one of the things that I noticed is right here, this little movement. All right, so that's something I need to note. Um, I am missing any kind of a line work, which says it's there, but hidden in the light tones. So when I look at here, this is white. All of that's white. The only thing is there's a little here now you can see the ear is actually darker than the face kind of goes over here so what I'm looking at is this and I'm looking for the shape I'm not looking for it must be perfect I just want a shape and ears should not be perfect and I'm going to tell you why because you don't want to focus on the ears now, if you look, there is this little line work where it's where you can actually see right here. Ears are really easy. Don't make them hard. And you may think it needs more information, but it doesn't because you don't want to look at it. Now, I can see there is a lot of red in the ear. So I'm going to try to get a really not red, not, and just be almost boring, really boring. And I'm going to put water on it first. See how thin that is? I mean, I'm talking, look at how, look at how light that is. Let me blow dry. Okay. Looking at values. <laughs> I'm a one. That's where I wanted. I don't want it to be very light. Look at how light that is. I'm going to now do the face and the edges of the ear. Now the ed ends of the ear should have warmth. And I don't mind using some actual red in the ear. That's appropriate. For the face, I'm just going to do like this. Boop, 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 just so that we know. Now, and what do we notice? One piece of that face goes into it, and it's right about here. Cool. And then I see this darker area right here, and I'm just going to throw that in so you know that that's where things are kind of laid at. I'm now going to use some of that red and you can see I'm much more vibrant with the red and I'm going to soften that quite a bit 
and I'm going to use a little water right here. Uh, now, wait a minute. I don't want it to flow over. Now, I put water on it, right? You guys watch that? There's going to be, and I'm going to see if it explodes. I don't want it to explode. Maybe a little gap. I know that there's a little dark here. And I'm going to soften it so it doesn't look, you know, weird. And I notice that is a little bit darker. So I'm going to actually put a little right here. I don't know if there's any water on it anymore. Probably not. I'm going to do a light. Is that going to be too dark? I'm looking at it. I'm going to check my values because I may be too dark already. Got to be careful. So I'm going to soften this up a little bit. Just, I just want to put this over. And I think this got too dark, so I'm just going to tap that out a little bit. Just a very soft color here. A little, these are, these are so light. They're not even making a one. Okay. They're really light. And you're thinking, oh, my God, that's so But when it dries, it's really kind of not. And I'm going to put a little red. Woo! Didn't take you but a few minutes. Ears should be really simple. You don't want to spend time playing around in the ear. Because there's a lot of stuff. You could spend a lot of time. And you don't want to. Because who wants to look at the ear, right? blow dry it. So how, first let's check the values. Am I off? <laughs> okay, this is like white and I will probably would have put it a little darker than that because it's really light. It's almost to the point of so white it's like, oh my god. So I think I'm gonna just put a little color there. I'm gonna give it a little color here so that you can see that this is um, if I feel that I need just a little darker yet, I don't think you need any more. And that would that took me probably five minutes, ten minutes max. You do not want to spend time at the baby's ears. So let's look at the value real fast. Let me blow dry again. Man, you can notice that I'm using a lot of layering, a lot of blow drying. I like it. But say you liked it, wanted to calm this down. It's real easy to calm it down. Use just a little itty bitty bit of green right there and that will fix it. I personally am fine with that. I don't want to spend time with playing with the ears. I just do it and I'm out of there. It'll be this, it's one of the funniest, quickest things I do is the ear and the nose. If you have questions, please post it on Drop That Brush or on comments below. And you're not sure what you're doing and you're just stroking and stroking and stroking, drop that brush, like, subscribe, and ring that bell. <laughs>